If I can get everybody's attention, I want to thank everybody for being here today. Special day to dedicate Ladder 8. And uh, first of all, I want to introduce our guest. Uh, I want to introduce our Board of Commissioners, Chairman of the Board of Commissioners, John Daniel. Uh, post 1, Mark Thomas. Post 2, Chuck Gordon. Post 3, Bubba Wills. One and all. One and all. <laughs> Post 4, Mark Saxon. And our County Administrator, Justin Kiriak. I don't think we have any representatives or state representatives to do that. Okay. All right, I want to introduce our EMA Director, C.J. Warden. Uh, uh, Wes Giddings is not here, is he? Our Finance Director. Dan Baggett, our Communications Director. And then I want to introduce our Station 8 officers. Keith Kelly is our Station Chief. Jordan Farrington is our Assistant Chief here at Station 8. Captains Mike Trula, I see him, Mike Toe. And Training Officers Dick Farrington, who couldn't be here, Matt Toe. Okay. And then I want to just briefly just introduce our ladder truck committee because they're the ones that did the hard work as far as making the specifications for this truck. Keith Kelly, Station 8 Chief. Mike Link, Station 1 Chief. Jordan Farrington, Assistant Chief of Station 8. Rusty Bennett, he's not here. And myself. So this committee spent a lot of time getting the specs together and doing a lot of pre-construction visits, final inspection visits, making this happen. And this time, I'm going to ask, oh, also, Mike Toad had spent a lot of time with us on this truck, too. So, Mike, I appreciate your help, Mike Toad. I'm going to ask Chairman Daniel to come up and say a few words. Just an exciting time to, to get this ladder truck in service. A lot of hard work went into this many years ago, setting it up to get it this early in our, in our program. So way ahead of schedule. It's really exciting and uh, appreciate the Board of Commissioners uh, uh, support for getting it done. So thank you. Thank you, John. And I can say it was a very pleasant surprise when Chairman Daniel came to me and sat down and said, you know, we might be able to fit in a new ladder truck at Station 8. And I said, you're kidding. So it's very much a surprise and we appreciate the Board of Commissioners helping us with that. Uh, many of you were here back in December we dedicated this new station so this is a huge addition to this new station here uh, some of you already know this but a third of the emergency calls is answered by this station uh, it's all volunteer here and the whole county is volunteer there's 29 members of this station uh, this truck is made by Sutton Corporation so this is the seventh truck we purchased from Sutton. Uh, we got one that's in production, going in production in August, of, that's being purchased by the city, and will be deeded over to the county. But this this will be number seven, so that's good. And the good thing about Sutton that we like is it's standardized. Everybody that operates these trucks here can operate them anywhere in the county. They're all the same. So this truck here. Ladder 8 is identical to Station 1, Ladder 1, except for a few, few changes. Uh, also, we're proud to have this truck, you know, especially covering the Bips Bridge corridor and Bogart area. It's big for the north end of the county. And then uh, some of you might ask, how long will this truck stay in service? John, it's going to be 30 plus years, I think. <laughs> so, unlike an engine, ladders stay in service a long time because they cost so much. And I just want to finally say that I really appreciate the Board of Commissioners, Chairman Daniel, and the Board for helping us get this truck. It's a big addition to our family. I'm going to let Keith talk a little bit about the tradition and a little bit about the truck. Yeah, just kind of give everybody a little bit background on the truck. So um, this is a uh, 2019 Sutphin SP70. The truck is capable of pumping 1,500 gallons of water per minute and has a 500 gallon internal tank inside of it. Um, the truck is a 70-foot aerial platform, 70-foot reach. The truck is approximately 45 feet in length. It's capable of carrying six firefighters inside. It has several advanced safety features, including remote cameras, door sensors, 
um, tire change systems. Um, the truck costs eight hundred eighty thousand dollars plus another eighty thousand dollars for the equipment that's on it. Ladder eight's the second ladder truck purchased in Oconee County, and second to ladder one in Watkinsville, which was purchased in two thousand three. Um, it's a respectful compliment to engine 801, which is a uh, 2009 Sutphin engine. Um, Ladder 8 was built by the Sutphin Corporation. They're based out of Columbus, Ohio. This particular truck was built in a Columbus suburb called Hilliard, which is their tower facility where they built the ladder trucks. Sutphin Corporation is a family-owned company. It's been building fire trucks since 1890. Sutphin Corporation is in its 129th year of operation, making it the oldest continuously owned and operated fire apparatus manufacturer in the country. When you go to Sutphin, it's the family members that are actually running the facility. You interact with them there, so it's, it's a family-owned business. A little bit about our push-in ceremony. Origin of pushing a fire truck into the station dates back to the time of a horse-drawn equipment. Firefighters had to push early hand-drawn fire engines, ladder wagons, hose carts, and so on into the fire station because the horses they used at the time were incapable of backing the equipment in. The horse-drawn steam engines that followed could be backed up by the engineers, but it was difficult to align the steam connections on the engine with those in the station. So the horses were disconnected and the steamers were also pushed into the station by hand. All of this backing in by hand became moot when the self-propelled motorized fire engines went into service, but the fire service is deep into tradition and fire departments across this nation make every effort to honor and pay homage to past and old time members that had to push their engines into the station by hand, pushing the new ones into the station. While doing this honors the old and former members, it's also intended to, to display unity among the current members. So if everybody will, everybody that's interested, we're going to go ahead and push the truck in. We're going to get a little assistance while we're doing that. <laughs> but we'll uh, go ahead and get